Hello everybody, Dee Dee Russell here with WeddingVenueOwners.com and the Wedding Venue Owners and Managers community on Facebook. I am so excited today because we have a guest talking about uh, financial support and we'll get into that in a minute. But um, one of the questions that comes up so often in our group is how to process payments. Um, a lot of CRMs are out there, but for whatever reason, our venue owners and our management teams are not able to combine those systems as seamlessly as they would like and are always looking for solutions. So today we have Maru here. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Please yep. introduce yourself and um, let's hear a little bit about the company. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Um, my name is Anya Winnicka. I'm one of the co-founders of Maru. My counterpart hails from the finance industry. And so when we met, it was sort of the perfect unlikely union, um, having been in the weddings industry myself for 15 years. Um, and, you know, kind of just to give you a, a broad view of Maru, you know, we just think, and, and I personally, and anyone who's been in the industry probably agrees, that for far too long, our industry has had to turn to really overwhelming software systems, paper checks, hefty processing fees just to get paid to do, you know, mission critical business that we're all in. Um, and then, you know, on the other hand, ask anybody who's planned a wedding or an event and they'll tell you it's nearly impossible to streamline all of it because everyone is doing it so differently depending on who they are, where they live and all that. Um, and we don't, we just don't think it should be that complicated. Uh, and so we're at Maru on a mission to simplify, streamline, digitize, all payments between clients and wedding business owners, um, the power this incredibly in incredible, fragmented, but beautiful industry. Um, and so in a nutshell, what Maru does is we enable business owners to request payments from their clients and allow them to get paid via credit card, debit card, bank transfer. And we also have a feature called pay over time, which is kind of inspired by the afterpays of the world. Okay, now I'm really kind of spinning on all of those things. And I know we want to keep this to around 10 minutes because, you know, people can't digest anything longer than that. But you have been so kind to say that you would come back and do a part two. So we'll get to what we can get to today. And then, um, but man, oh man, that pay over time. I'm, I'm like, whole another ball game. I know, yeah. I know. Okay, we'll be patient. We will promise to come back and schedule a part two for the pay over time. But please venue owners like think about that for a minute that has incredible implications uh you know for impact for your business and your um conversion rate and the amount of people that may have had to walk away but could have stayed so again teasers all of those are teasers we'll get to that we'll get to that in a part two so um we are focusing today on our um wedding venue owners and management teams and how they might use this um so tell us a little bit about um you know how you help our wedding venue owners and managers um to kind of resolve this big issue getting paid is kind of important Right. I mean, and, and, you know, if it's, you know, if it's helpful, I can share my screen and show you a little bit, just give you a quick rundown. If yeah, let me do that. You want to do that. Here. Um, I can just show you what it looks like to do this because the thing about it is Maru is free to sign up and to use and to try um, no matter who you are, whether you're a big venue business owner or you're a small business owner. Um, you can do that. So if I were to yeah, quickly show you, you know, this is what the dashboard of Maru looks like. Um, you know, so if you are a venue owner or anybody in the wedding industry, wedding and event industry, you know, you'll have your dashboard. And if it's time to request a payment from a client, now you you can have a CRM. You might have, you know, 17 hats or HoneyBook or any of those out there. You can totally still use your workflows and things like that and use Maru at the same time. But um, when it comes to requesting a payment, you would go up to this button here. You would enter in whether this is a corporate client or maybe it's, you know, if it's a corporate client, you would toggle that. Or if it's a client, client, like a couple getting married. And you would just, you know, put in their, put in their names, you know, put in their emails. I'll just put in like a fake one here. You could put in the full contract amount. That could change over time, obviously. Um, you want to put it you maybe you want to put in a note to them and here's the beauty like you can set it and forget it so if they owe you a flat fee today you could toggle over to that or maybe they owe you 50 percent. you could do that 
And then whatever your payment schedule is, maybe it's just two payments, 50% now, 50% later, maybe it's in July. So you, you set it, and if you toggle this on over here, that means Maru is going to remind your client. So you don't have to remind yourself to remind your client. They will get a notification that the payment is coming a month of, the week of, three days before, like we're trying to get you paid on time. And one of the cool things is no matter how the client pays you, you get paid, your business gets paid in one business day. So you don't wait for ACH, you don't wait for Amex to process. Um, that's one of the beauties of using Maru. So once you've done that, you can attach your file. You have a beautiful invoice that you probably have branded and spent a lot of time on. You can add that here and anything else that has to do with the payment request that you're making. And then you hit continue. Oh, apparently I've used that email before. Um, you hit continue and here you say how you wanna be paid. So debit cards, if they pay you with a debit card or they pay you bank transfer, no one is paying a processing fee and it's coming to you in one day. It's a no brainer. If they're paying you via a credit card, it's a flat fee of 2.9%. And if you don't live in one of the 10 states where you're not allowed to pass it on, you can put in your settings that you would like us to bake that into their side of the equation. And I'll show you what it looks like. So once you finish it, you know, you're kind of just looking it over. If you have a CRM and you want to use your CRM where you're requesting the payment that way, you would click this button that says show payment link, put the link in and you're done. Um, or you can email it off to them, which is what most people do. And then on their end, they get a notification. It kind of feels like a venmo -y type of look and feel. It's supposed to be really simple. It looks like this, except for not my face. It's like your logo, your venue, a right. note from you, how they're able to pay the files, the PCI compliance badge. And then when they go to pay, they don't have to log in or do anything crazy. They can enter in a phone number and pay as a guest, or they can sign up, which means they get their own dashboard where they can remind themselves of all the things. Um, but paying as a guest is so easy. And then, you know, it just looks like this for them. They can do the bank transfer, a debit card. They can pay by credit card. And you know, when they do that, it's it's just kind of like buying something, you know, anything else online. They're just linking in their credit card here um, and they're off to the races. And so, yeah, I mean, one of the things, you know, we found is that it doesn't really matter you, you, you giving your, your clients the flexibility and the ability to pay so quickly is, is sort of the magic of Veru. So yeah. one thing that's come up over COVID is um, venue owners having a bit of fear with payment processing. Um, yep. So they're afraid that, that um, you know, if they take payments in any way besides cash or check, that they are more likely to lose those payments in a dispute. Um, you know, our venue owners are really evolving and growing and starting to work together and share strategies together. But before the last few years, they were kind of radio silent between each other and they didn't realize how often clients are kind of after the wedding or after I didn't get my way or I demanded a contract change or I violated my contract or I damaged the venue, but now I'm going to, you know, all of those yep. disputes that may come up. Um, yep. It is very easy right now to go and dispute with a credit card company. Um, you know, so, yeah. so some are just leery and thinking cash and check are the only way. But as you know, uh, with our younger audience, we barely have a, uh, check cash or check anytime i go somewhere and they require cash i'm like does anyone have cash anymore yeah yeah this is a big big deal um with with maru so w like you're right like credit card companies make it so easy for a client to say charge that back and then the business owner wakes up the next day and it's been taken out of their account that's what happened all day long during the pandemic and it was awful it's actually the reason why our pay over time feature includes cancellation wedding insurance into the transaction and we could talk about that another time but it was we built that product because we were like we're not going to let chargebacks happen with this product so with the credit cards on the other hand we don't have control over visa and amex either but what we do have control over is giving you information that you would need to provide to those companies to get your money back in your in your bank account. Um, because as you know, like they're very pro 
consumer. They're not pro-business necessarily. So there's a whole lot of hoopla that you have to go through in order to get that even back to, to your end of the deal. Um, so one thing is that we provide to anybody who is experiencing a chargeback is just the documentation that you would need. Just we give you the information that you would need to go do that. And then one thing, this is not live yet down the line, is we're actually considering building out a chargeback protection program. So if you wanted to, you could opt into that so that we would we would actually go do the work for you and get your money back. But that's that's down the line. But you I, can I love that the thought is headed. out there already to help the venue owners because this devastated a lot of yep. some businesses. Yep. Yep. And that's that's exactly it is we were building Maru during that time. Everything around getting paid was painful at that time. So we were really sensitive to to all of that. So I, I hear it. And to finish the thought, when a client pays you by a credit card or anything else, they get a receipt on their end. They get confetti. It's celebratory. And um, they, they're off. And then you, you, what you would see on your end is just that the payment was processing and all that. Um, and I can show you guys, you know, at any point, if anyone wants to see more of it, we, we can talk through it. But but you're right. The, the chargeback protection is is a big deal. And, you know, I know there, these are hefty fees that couples are putting down up front. But my guess is that most people have non-refundable deposits. But when it comes to that final payment, there's there's trouble <laughs> getting that back unless they've paid you via bank transfer or debit card. Um, and that's fine. You can do that on Maru too. You could just turn off credit cards altogether if you really don't want to do that. Yeah. Or, you know, in some cases, people will take certain payments in cash or check only, yes. and then others could then process through. And so yes. depending on your policies and the way that you have structured that with your legal team, right. when you have one out there, it's very important right. Um, right. that they've guided you in some of the best practices where you are protected as a business. Um, now, you said in the beginning that it is free to sign up and try. So explain that process a little bit. What happens when somebody says, I really love my system or I love my old Google Docs or whatever they're using, but payments are just the pain center for me. So let me give this a try. Then what happens from there? So you sign up for an account and it's it's free to use. It's it's free forever. It's not, we're not a subscription. And everyone always asks the next question, well, then how do you make money? <laughs> um, which I'll explain. But it's free to use. So you would sign up for an account and you uh, link your business bank account so that you can get paid. And then you can test out your first transaction. You know, you can try it with with someone you know on your team if you want. Um, and do a demo with us. If you have a CRM, if you're using something in particular, we're pretty well versed on how they all work and how you might be able to use the two in tandem. Um, you may have a really big team and you may want to train some sales folks on it. That's cool too. We, um, we do demos of all sizes with all different types of teams just to make sure it's customized to you. Um, so you would do that and then make sure that it works for you. Make sure um, everyone is you know, feeling very confident in using it. Um, and then that's it. When you when you request a payment from a client, they get notified, they pay you, you get paid in a day. There is nothing else. Um, the way Maru makes money is through the pay over time feature. The folks that do use that, either they or their client are taking on a, a, a transaction fee. And the part of that fee is our revenue. Um, and then the other way that Maru makes money is through our processing volume. So when you have um, a lot of people processing a lot of money on your platform, you can actually turn around to the credit card companies and say, hey, we're, we're going to stop paying you 2.9 flat like everyone else. And we're going to pay lower. So we make money on the margin. I just it's important to us to be transparent just to, to help everyone understand. They're always like, well, why are you not a subscription? And the reality is we, we don't feel like we have to be a subscription to, to be a good business. I love that. I love that. So when a new, um, when a venue owner or a wedding venue business of sorts comes to you for um, setup, it, it, can you describe the onboarding process a little bit for them? Oh, yeah, it takes, it probably would take you about five minutes. Um, you would go to maru.us click on get Maru, you would enter in your, no, your, your name and your business information that you wanna have be associated with the account. Um, one thing you would need on you is your EIN number, if, if you've got one of those, just so that we, we've got all the legal details down and then your logo, you'll upload your logo to your profile. From there, you will be set up and ready to request your first payment. 
Um, and and it's, it's that simple. If there's ever a question as you are going through the process, our customer service is lit 24 hours a day. We are always on it. So um, there's almost no hours in the day where you can't find somebody. So um, you, you, you will be supported in that way. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the, before we wrap up, so again, everybody watching, we are going to have a part two and talk about the, um, the, the other side um, that can help couples and different things like that. But what are some of the top reasons that your current um, venue owners and a wedding venue, wedding business um, businesses, what are some of the top reasons that they switch over to Maru? Well, one is saving money on processing fees. That's a huge one. Um, most people who are using a CRM are paying hefty processing fees. They're paying for a basic bank transfer that is free to the banks, that is free to us. So we are passing that on to you. So that's a big one. Um, debit cards are free on Maru. That's also not something that you can find and I don't think any other processor does that. Um, so that's one. Another is if you're in one of those states where you are allowed to pass the credit card fee on, we make it really easy for you to do that and not look like the bad guy. And that has been a huge uh, deal to a lot of people um, who before were taking in the three and a half percent and eating that. And then they were looking back at their records from the year before and realizing they had spent thousands of dollars on literally nothing. Um, and so there are 10 states that don't let you do it, but the rest of them do. And for, for those of you who, who live there, you know, in your settings, you basically, and, and I would say 99% of people do it on Maru. So that's another big one. And then not in this order, Order, but it's really easy to use like it's so simple it's not cumbersome it's not meant to be heavy there's not lots of crazy bells and whistles and tabs and that's the point um, so a lot of people like it because it's just not that hard to use and anyone on their team can do it um, and then I guess the last one would be it speaks our language as as an industry and most of all of the rest do not they are designed for business banking bros on Wall Street. They're not designed for us as an industry and the work that we do. So, um, you know, both on the client facing side and on your side. Exactly. And, and there is a huge difference. Wedding venue owners and managers watching this, you know, you are not like everyone else. You have different challenges. You have a different client system and the expectations. Um, and, and also your small business, you need to know that you can depend on processing those payments um, and then having the ability to schedule those out and all of those things electronically that make your life easier, but also help you track them and help ensure that you're receiving those. And again, those fees come up in the wedding venue owners and managers community group on Facebook so often that okay. I almost yeah. don't even publish all of them anymore because it's almost a daily occurrence. Wow. How can we do this without racking up as much fees and, and how can we manage these fees better and process better? Give so. it a try. Give Maru a try. <laughs> we're, we're, we're saving people. Some people are saving hundreds of thousands of dollars a year using Maru. So. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Well, Anya, I thank you so much for your time. We are going to have a part two. So if you're watching this, please stay tuned um, to have our uh, part two where we kind of do the pay, um, uh, the payment process, uh, the pay over time. Yes, uh, overtime paying, um, which to me is a, sh I mean, I'm very excited about this because. I don't know that a lot of this exists out there necessarily. So I'm very excited to have part two. I cannot wait to do that. And as soon as I do, um, we'll share that with this. But I think you've heard a lot of great information through this. Um, if you have any questions, Anya, best way to reach out to you guys, best way to reach your customer service, go online. What do you recommend? Any, honestly, any channel. We're really, we're, we're there. Maru.us is the website. Our chat is there. You can email me, Anya at maru.us. You can DM us on social media. We'll, we're, we're here. So I will put all of those links in the end of this video so that you can go and contact Anya um, and or her team and find out more. And if you try it, venue owners and management team, please let us know. We always want to share services and resources that make your life easier, that help alleviate a lot of your anxiety and stress. Do not wait, please. Do not wait until something bad happens and you wish you had a system in place that, especially when it comes to that all important money and revenue coming in, you never know when you're going to have a drought. You never know when something bad is going to happen. So 
I understand a lot of you still do a lot of the Excel and the Google Docs, and that's okay. But when it comes to your money, make sure that you have a system that's protecting you and protecting you know, uh, your business throughout the year. So Anya, thank you so much. Maru.us. Again, I will have all of the links in here and then stay tuned for part two. Thanks, Didi.